Welcome to this special Clinical Pearl presentation, Interventions for Cow's Milk Allergy in Children and Infants. In this Clinical Pearl, Dr. Roberto Bernicanani, Chief of the Pediatric Allergy Program in the Department of Translational Medicine, University of Naples, shares his expertise in the study of cow's milk allergy. Dr. Kanani proposes interventions, including supplemental probiotics and their appropriate use in formula for neonates and infants. Current and ongoing research to reduce allergic manifestations in children with cow's milk allergy is also highlighted. Now, let's join Dr. Kanani in this informative question and answer clinical pearl presentation. Welcome to this clinical pearls. I'm Professor Roberto Bernicanani. I'm the head of the allergy program uh, at the Department of Pediatric University Federico II of Naples. And now we start to talk about the approach in terms of diagnosis and treatment of children affected by cow milk allergy. Dr. Kanani, what are the common causes of a cow milk allergy in infants? Milk allergy, as well as for many other food allergies, derive mainly by a dysregulation of the immune system, a dysregulation of the oral tolerance mechanisms. And cow milk proteins are uh, introduced early in the life. For this reason, cow milk allergy is one, is one of the most cause, most important cause of food allergy in the pediatric age. It, uh, many about two, three percent of babies are affected by cow milk allergy. And uh, according to the current view, there are many environmental factors acting on uh, our immune system in the early phase of life, or directly or indirectly uh, through a modification of gut microbiome. And this modification in gut, of gut microbiome leads to a negative pressure on the development of the immune system, and this leads to the occurrence of uh, food allergy. Dr. Kanani. What are the symptoms to indicate an infant is affected by cow's milk? Yeah, the, the clinical symptoms and signs of cow milk allergy are, are very numerous. It depends mainly by the mechanism of action, because there are some children experience an IgE-mediated mechanism of action, and this leads to severe form of cow milk allergy, starting from anaphylaxis still to urticaria and angioedema. On the contrary, there are other children presenting a non ig mediated mechanism of action. In this case, the pre this, these children present mainly signs and symptoms at the gastrointestinal tract level, such as vomiting, chronic diarrhea, malabsorption, failure to thrive. So, in, and sometimes these two mechanisms could coexist in the same child. For example, this is the case of children affected by atopic dermatitis or eosinophilic gastrointestinal disorders of the gastrointestinal tract. So, doctor, how do you test for or diagnose whether an infant has a cow milk allergy? The diagnostic approach to a child with suspected cow milk allergy is a multi-step process. First of all, we, made a, a, we make an, an accurate analysis and clinical evaluation of this child to, to investigate the possible presence of typical signs and symptoms related to cow milk allergy and to find out a strong correlation between the assumption of a particular food, in this case cow milk, and the occurrence of these signs and symptoms. Then we use allergy screening tests, skin pre-testing in children affected by an IgE-mediated condition, or atopy patch testing in children affected by a non-IgE-mediated cow milk allergy. Then we prescribe an elimination diet for a couple of weeks or for a month, depending on the severity of the clinical administration at the baseline. And if this child recovers, we plan a diagnostic or a food challenge. In other words, after one, uh, for a couple of weeks, after one month of exclusion diet, we expose the child to the same food, in this case cow milk proteins, and we 
assess the possible occurrence of, of the typical signs or symptoms of cow milk allergy. In this case, the test is considered positive, the diagnosis is confirmed, and we continue the elimination diet. In selected cases, for example, in patients with um, GI symptoms, sometimes we plan to perform endoscopy and biopsies and other invasive or non-invasive diagnostic procedures to demonstrate clearly the existence of an allergic mechanism um, that is responsible for signs and symptoms. Dr. Canoni, what is the treatment for children with cow's milk allergy? Food allergy is commonly treated using an elimination diet. In other words, we have to identify carefully the food that is responsible for this clinical manifestation in the case of cow milk allergy cow milk containing food and but the peculiarity in this case that we can use a special formula the first of all we can use extensidolysis casein or whey formulas or soy formulas these three formulas are considered a first line choice to treat a child affected by cow milk allergy in selected cases we can use amino acid based formula, for example, in children affected by multiple food allergies or by anaphylaxis, or children that are intolerant to the first line treatment, in other words, that are intolerant to an extensionalized case in formula, whey formula, or soy formula. But in real life, the, the true number of these children is extremely low. Now, what are the differences between partially hydrolyzed formula and extensively hydrolyzed formula? Main difference derived by the decree of the hydrolysis. In other words, partial hydrolyzed formulas contain peptides with a molecular weight higher than 5,000 kilodalton. And these formulas are dedicated for babies, for infants, not breastfed infants, to prevent allergy. And this, these products are particularly important for children at high risk of food allergy. In other words, for children with at least one family member affected by an allergic condition. On the contrary, extremely delicious formulas contain only free amino acids or small peptides with a molecular size less than 3,000 kilodalton. And these special formula are important for the treatment of a, of a food allergy, for the treatment of cow milk allergy in particular. Dr. Kanani, how do you determine if oral tolerance to cow milk proteins has been achieved? The only strategy that we can adopt in this case is to plan an uh, oral food challenge. In other words, if we expose the child to increasing concentration, increasing doses of uh, cow milk, and we assess in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in a period of hours of days, depending on the mechanism, the possible occurrence of signs and symptoms related to cow milk allergy. All in this case, we can be sure, completely sure, that this child could hit again cow milk containing foods. The timing of this oral food challenge is influenced by the mechanism because in, in patients affected by severe form of cow milk allergy, general IgE mediated cow milk allergy forms, we plan this type of oral food challenge after at least one year of exclusion diet. On the contrary, in children affected by non ig mediated mechanism, in general children with presenting with the gastrointestinal manifestations such as vomiting and chronic diarrhea, in the vast majority of cases, we can plan the oral food challenge after six months of exclusion diet. In children affected by an IgA mediated cow, cow milk allergy, it could be important to perform skin prick testing even before the challenge because now we know that some particular reaction, skin prick testing, could predict the outcome of the, of the challenge. In other words, if the child presents uh, an intense response in terms of uh, the, the diameter of the skin prick testing, this means that for sure 
this child could react to the oral, at oral food challenge. In this case, we, uh, we postpone the, the, the oral food challenge uh, for at least four, six months. What role does probiotic LGG alone or in combination with EHCF play when administered during infancy to prevent or treat a cow's milk allergy? Lactobacillus rhamnosus LGG is one of the most studied probiotics around the world, in particular in the pediatric field, in particular in allergy. There is a lot of evidence from in vivo and in vitro studies so showing a, a strong immunomodulatory role elicited by this probiotic on the immune system of a baby, eliciting an anti-allergic and anti-inflammatory response. And there are uh, nice data deriving from the use of LGG during pregnancy pregnancy during the first weeks of life to prevent the occurrence of other atopic manifestation, in particular eczema, later in the life. Starting from all this data, we designed a, a couple of trials investigating the advantage uh, uh, deriving from uh, adding uh, LGG to a special formula in an extensive dosage casing formula. And what we found that using this dietary strategy is possible to increase the chance of oral tolerance acquisition after one year exclusion diet. Doctor, what are the mechanisms of action elicited by LGG added to EHCF in infants with a cow's milk allergy? The mechanisms are multiple. First of all, uh, LGG exerts a positive effect on gut microbiota composition and function. This is an important point because dysbiosis, a modification, a negative modification of gut microbiome precedes the occurrence of food allergy. Then, thanks to this first mechanism, there is an increase of uh, short chain fatty acid production, in particular butyrate. Butyrate is uh, very important because butyrate is able to regulate many mechanisms mechanism involved in oral tolerance acquisition. Then, thanks to this modulation of the gut microbiome in terms of composition and function, LGG exerts uh, an immunogulatory role, down-regulating the expression of uh, allergic and inflammatory cytokines and up-regulating the expression of anti-allergic and anti-inflammatory cytokines, thanks to, at least in part, an epigenetic mechanisms. In other words, this effect could be readable by one generation of cells to the next generation of cells in terms of uh, human enterocytes, in terms of, uh, of cells of, of immune system. This is also very important because this effect could be could be having a long term uh, it could be considered a long term effect. Dr. Kanani, what are the long term implications of cow's milk allergy? Yes, cow milk allergy is the first sign of a dysregulation of the immune system. When an infant develops cow milk allergy in the first months of life, this means that this child have a, has a dysregulated immune system. In fact, these babies present an increased risk to develop other atopic manifestations later in the life. In particular, we know now that children affected by an IgA-mediated cow milk allergy have a, a risk more than 50% to develop later in the life asthma or Chlorinitis, urticaria, eczema, the so called atopic march. So, Dr. Kanani, what are the trial results and therefore proposed clinical benefits from supplementing EHCF with LGG? First of all, we demonstrated that this new strategy, LGG added to an extensorized casing formula, is able to induce a faster acquisition of oral tolerance. Even if compared to other dietary strategies that are available for a physician treating a child affected by cow milk allergy, I'm referring to soy formula, rice formula, or amino acid based formula. The, the, the second effect is a positive if, uh, modulation of the gut microbiome of children affected by cow milk allergy, increasing the number of healthy bacteria in the gut lumen of, of this baby. 
The third important result is that if a baby is treated with an extrinsic casein format with the LGG inside, these children have a stronger modif modification of the epigenetic mechanism involved in the expression of allergic and inflammatory cytokine, and this means a long-term protection for the, for the immune system. Starting from the results of these trials, now, what we found now is that if I treat a child affected by chamomile allergy with an exogenous case informant or with the LGG, we can induce a protection against the occurrence of other atopic manifestations in the lab, against the occurrence of atopic march. This concludes our question and answer presentation with Dr. Kanani on interventions for cow's milk allergy in children and infants. Thanks for watching this Clinical Pearl on pediatricnutritionce.org.